Yeah. Exactly. I feel exactly the way I look. So don't be shocked. I already cried my eyes out. <laughs> Guess that little cry yesterday pushed me over the edge because already cried my eyes out this morning. Just told a friend that I feel like it's going to be a crying day and I said, so watch out if I put up a vlog. There's going to be a lot of crying involved, but I'll try my best not to. Yes, one to three inches today of snow. Spring's never going to come. I looked at the, the forecast, the extended forecast, 30s, low 40s possibly, but a lot of 30s and a little snow and just the next two weeks looks horrible. That can change, but it doesn't help with our mood, right? Because I can't get out. I can't, I can't walk in this. It's snowing as we speak. Besides, I'm really dizzy again today. Not stroke head yet, but very, you know, kind of, oh, everything keeps moving on me. Woke up. The way I always do. Was awake half the night. The way I always do. I'm ready for sleeping pills. I'm ready for, I'm ready to see, a, I'm literally ready to go see a psychiatrist and have them prescribe heavy medications to get through the day. I really am. I truly am. I'm ready to do something like that because nothing's working and I can't, I can't keep doing this. So I'm going to go on the treadmill. I don't give a rat's patootie I'm going on the treadmill because I was just going to go in the, the dry sauna and I might still do dry sauna, infrared sauna. My people, some people caught dry sauna, but it's caught an infrared sauna. Anyways, um, but today's shower day to wash the hair, and you can't, excuse me, you can't use any, you're not supposed to use any soaps, detergents, anything after being in there when you're just supposed to rinse off, and so I don't think I can do that. My daughter just got done texting me saying my granddaughter has been hounding her all week, every single day this week. Is tomorrow the day I go to Gammy's? When is the weekend? Show me, show me on the, you know, when is the day? When is the day? It's tomorrow. How many days more? How many days more? Am I going to Gammy's tomorrow? Am I go she goes, so she can't, she's like, cannot wait to get over there. So she said, so I told Livy. You know, either Saturday or Sunday, depending on how Gammy feels. And I said, honey, I don't feel good ever. So it doesn't matter. Whatever day works for you. You know, come on, bring her over tomorrow. Bring her over, whatever. I'm sure she's not going to wait till Sunday, though. So, got her new baby doll. Did I show you the new baby doll I bought her? Well... I'll show it to you when she comes over and, un and opens it. I don't think I'll wrap it. What's the point? But um, it's something she's going to keep here. Her mom already bought her a new baby doll for her birthday to stay at home. But Because um, I only have boy toys. I mean, I have a lot of stuff. Not a lot, but I all the stuff I have is basically for boys. I have the tea set that I bought for her. And I do have a little old. I mean, this is from the... Pfft, 60s or early 70s um dollhouse upstairs in the extra bedroom that she plays with but other than that little dollhouse and the tea set there's nothing here that's girls for girls you know um so i asking my other daughter to buy the crib that goes with it i already have a little stroller to for it so she can leave this here so something for her to play with sure you're all very interested in that, but that's my, what's happening. So, I had made a vow that I wasn't going to beg God to kill me. No, I'm wording it differently now. I'm not saying, please, just 
kill me. I want to die. I want to die. Now I'm saying, well, just take me home. Just take me home. Make it end. It's, a, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I'm in Daniel right now. And um, in chapter 6, it's, you know, a little story about Daniel really is about the lion's den, really. That's what everybody remembers about Daniel. But it's something that I, I had never thought about. But when Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego was thrown into the fiery furnace, where was Daniel? We don't know. Was he on a trip? Did he go somewhere? Don't know where Daniel was. Okay. Well, now Daniel in chapter 6 is thrown into the lion's den. Where's his three friends? Where are they? Are they on a trip? Were they obeying the law of not kneeling down to God and praying as Daniel did three times a day? <laughs> we don't know. It's something I was just thinking about. Only because I'm, you know, I'm in Daniel now and I was like, hey, where are these guys on either of these occasions? But to have that faith, you know, when they went, when Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego were thrown into the furnace, scriptures don't say that they were fearful they just said so be it and if god doesn't protect us so be it you know it's like we're going in we didn't have a choice anyways but what i'm saying is they and daniel getting thrown into the lion's den i feel like we're in the lion's den every single day every time i open my eyes it's like here i go again i'm getting tossed down getting eaten alive how do you, wow, I'm sorry, it's the, the deer in the headlights or the dog with the squirrel gun, but I, look at this, it's, it's really coming down now, let's see if you can see this. I don't think spring's going to be coming anytime soon around here, and mind you guys, Spring ahead. Hee <laughs> hee. I'd like to know why Arizona is the only state in the, the United States that has a brain. I still want to know that, but I'm going to sign off. Just moving like that makes me woohoo. Woohoo. Talk to you later. Hello. Just popping in. I didn't get on the treadmill. Got down there. And the cable wouldn't work again. Uh, I don't know. It's something I'm doing. I mean, the cable's working. It's just I can't get it to come on that TV. I'm going to have to have Sid show me what the heck I'm doing wrong. So I, as I've said in the past, can't walk on that treadmill without something entertaining me. So I went ahead and clearly showered and washed my hair because it's big and frizzy and fluffy but on the phone let's just think about this <clears throat> god's intervention i i've always i always used to say i don't believe there's coincidences god has a plan and everything is in plan and that's what i've always said i've always said that there's no coincidences but I told you yesterday about how I called Verizon and lo and behold, this sister in the Lord answers the phone and we start talking. Well, she called me again this morning or yeah, to verify that the, the Wi-Fi was indeed working. But then we just got to talking, talking about our past, talking about what's going on with us, where she goes to church now, blah, blah, blah. This is somebody that I knew for years and years and years. I mean, her her son and my da younger daughter went to school from pre-K on up. 
they, so they were in class together. Remember, I told you the church was a very close-knit society, so, you know, camp, grounds, school, church. But I was never friends with her. We just, we didn't click. All these years later, we were clicking really well on the phone today, clicking very well. And um, she was sharing that she had lost her mother a year ago and that experience and lost a good friend just a couple months ago to suicide. Christian woman who suffered anxiety and depression and probably some other physical ailments that nobody could figure out what. But it was like, in just a couple days' time, I get a card from this young woman who I have not seen or talked to in years since I left work, out of the blue, I get a card from her. And then this happens yesterday, and it's like, is the Lord trying to say something to me? And, and if so, what? what is having these people reach out to me? You know, um, this woman's name is Nikki, and... She gave me her phone number. I gave her mine. She said, let's keep in touch. Let's keep in touch. And I said, okay, okay. I don't know. Again, I, if I was to believe in coincidences, I'd just say, yeah, it's just coincidental. But if I don't believe in coincidences, then I have to believe the Lord had this planned for a reason. What is that reason? million dollar question so not a horrific day started out pretty bad but now it's just leveled to baseline garbage but I can deal with that I have to deal with that I don't have a choice But Nikki and I talked about the Lord a lot, obviously, and we talked about how close we believe Jesus' return is. We talked about suicide. Um, a young man who was one class below our my daughter's class, and it was, at the time, back when I was going to that church, she was one of my best friends, her son committed suicide a couple years ago and he was best friends with Nikki's son and we discussed his suicide and it's like an interesting topic because most people don't just discuss suicide but it came up she brought it up because of talking about this young man Joshua who took his own life and then talking about a friend of hers and I told her about a friend of mine that did the same thing a couple years back. And I walk around, you know, talking about wanted to die all the time, and yet I would never do anything. I wonder if the Lord's trying to say something to me. I don't know. I don't know. I just wish, I want what I desire is to get back what I used to have with the Lord, which was a very strong relationship with Him. I love, and I, I've said this before, worship was so important to me. I loved worshiping. And you say, you can worship in your own home. Yeah, you can, but I, I can't. I mean, I can. It's not the same. It's just not the same not being with other fellow believers in the presence of other fellow believers and the music. Just just a thought. So I just popped in to say I'm still here, didn't go on the treadmill. So my big outing was getting into the shower and not falling over. Drying my hair and not falling over. Getting dressed and not falling over. And it has stopped snowing. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what you're seeing, but it's calmed down finally. Don't know if that's going to stick. So I will talk to you guys later. This may not even come on. I might. I don't know. I don't know if I even put this up today because 
we do have to go back over to my mother's and get these things installed so I might bring you with me to do that okay I have to paint my nails or maybe I'll wait because I paint my granddaughter's nails when she comes over oh. alright talk to you later spoke too soon I don't know if you can tell but here it comes the flurries within just two minutes of me posting that. Just two minutes. Just thought I'd let you see that. Oh. Try again. Okay, where are we going, Sid? All right, are, we, are we rolling here? I think we're rolling All right. now. We're going home. Are you on the camera? Yes, okay. I'm good. And where were we? We were at Grandma Fowler's installing cameras in her apartment so we can watch what she does. Because that's really exciting. We watching what she does. Is We're going to watch every move. Yep. Now. When you're really bored, we'll be turning on uh, the Donna Joe Fowler Show. The Donna Show. Joe Fowler Show. And, uh, <laughs> Donna the, Joe. We can watch her sit, lay, and stumble. And kind of like me. Yep. And then we could tell her, no, she was here because I was watching her. Your aide came. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, just now. Yep. I never saw Again, she was telling me her, her favorite aide was not there this morning. She no, was. Lisa never came. Lisa yeah. never came. Yes, never saw her. Never. Yes, yeah, she, she was. She was there. She doesn't remember two seconds before anything. Anyway, we're on our way home. We got it done. Right. Thank God. Right. And now we can go home, and I got a fiddle-faddle to figure out how to let my brother, my sister, and my uncle sink onto this um, app so they also can sit and watch the Donna Joe Fowler show. Talk to you guys later. Hi. Um, I'm going to sign off with this, but got those cameras installed just in the nick of time. Um, a little while ago, I get a call from Life Alert. Your mother's stating that she's locked. She doesn't need assistance other than she needs somebody to come and get her out of the locked office. She's in a locked office. I turn on the camera. She's sitting on her bed. Thank God for those cameras. Call her, and I'm watching her while I'm talking to her on the phone, and I'm like, Mom, you're sitting on your bed. You're fine. No, no, I'm in an office, and I can't get out, and I'm, I'm lost, and I can't, I can't just leave. I don't know my way out of here. She doesn't know how to get out of her bedroom. She said, I need, can't you just come over here and take me home? I need to go home. And I'm like, Mom, I was just there and you are home. You are, the, everything you own is in that place. So that makes it your home. No, no, can't convince her. She gets upset, hangs up on me. But I watch her for a while and right after that, the aide showed up. I'm watching. The aide has no idea. I got cameras on them. <laughs> but this is a wonderful, I love this aide. And I called her and I just said, listen, she just had a call to the life alert. She's very agitated, blah, blah, blah. So I've been watching and the aide's been really good with her. Just she actually painted her fingernails. But when the aide walked in, um, my mother was crying. She goes, I'm just so glad to see you. I'm so glad that you got here. And So that was good. So this this is a good aide and I really got to do something special for her. I gave her a pretty nice Christmas present. And just recently I bought her one of those those adult coloring books with the colored pencils. Um, got to do something else for her. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is, actually. Yes, I'm going to give her a coupon for massage. Because this aid is really good. She has such patience with my mom. But my point is, the camera, thank God that we got the cameras in there. Because I would have jumped in my car and flew over there like a bat out of you-know-where. Because, you know, I'm getting a call from Life Alert that she's trapped. And I'm thinking, she's probably in the bathroom and can't get off the toilet or something. Sitting on her bed. Simply just sitting on her bed. So... I'm pretty sure I'm going to have my grandbaby girl tomorrow. I'm going to have a tea party, play baby doll. Might go out shopping if Yuta comes and takes me. 
And if we do any of that, I'll try to take you along. Lord willing, I'll see you guys later.